Now, civil servants residing in Jogo Road Phase 1 and 2 estates that are set for demolition to pave way for the affordable housing program want the state to give them a one-year vacation notice instead of the two months notice issued by the housing principal secretary, Charles Hinga. Well, many more residents are set for relocation as seven estates in Eastlands area, Nairobi County, have been earmarked for what the government terms as redevelopment of the units, despite some having been constructed less than five years ago. Well, Seth Olale shuttled between the affected estates here in the capital and spoke to the occupants. Jemima Mwashigadi, a resident of Jago Road Phase 2, who has lived here for 22 years, attends a crisis welfare committee meeting called by the estate chairman, Kennedy Ochiwodo. During the meeting, the estate chairman shows residents a vacation notice from the Ministry of Lands, Public Works, Housing and Urban Development delivered to him on Tuesday. The notice, signed by Housing Principal Secretary Charles Hinga, reads in part, and I quote, As you are aware, the government is implementing the affordable housing program. Pursuant to this, several old estates have been identified for redevelopment. In order to increase rental stock, avail houses for sale to citizens, at affordable rates, and create job opportunity for the youth. Consequently, you are required to prepare and surrender the house you occupy to the Director of Estate Management in vacant possession on or before 30th April 2024 after clearing all the outstanding rent arrears, utility bills and service charges. Residents of Jogo Road Phase 2 struggling to come to terms with a two months vacation notice. I came for 22 years. I came here when I was a girl. People have really panicked. But as a committee, we took charge and said that let us not panic as leaders. We need to give way to our members. So we have encouraged our members not to panic. The residents' meeting coinciding with an ongoing football match with players unaware that they will soon lose the playing field. At least for a year. Adjacent to the playing field is a school where children from Jogo Road Phase 2 estate learn from. Pupils are going to be affected and parents have been affected. Uh, we are not going to have it easy. The regulations of the Ministry of Education also does not allow children to transfer because of the NEMIS number that we have. So we are requesting the PS housing to, to consider giving us time so that we can organize ourselves. Jogo Road Phase 2 estate, which hosts 365 households, is a fully-fledged gated community with social amenities and shopping area. Other government estates earmarked for redevelopment include Jama, Mbotela, Ahero, Mawenzi Gardens and South B. Just the other day, you saw the Auditor General gave a report that her civil servants are living in debt. Others are living below a third of their salary. They are taking home less than a third of their salary, which is against the law. That is causing what is called peculiar embarrassment. Construction 
kwa hilo rates yenye watatuambia na tuamie Eastlands area in Nairobi County is among locations where the government has invested heavily in the construction of houses. The units you see behind me have been in existence for over six decades. Previous attempts to have these particular units redeveloped have faced challenges, including legal battle. Will this time be a defining moment in terms of a facelift for the Eastland area and other places that have been earmarked for development? Seth Olale, Citizen TV, Eastlands, Nairobi County.